Hello and welcome to the Place to Be Reviews. I wish we were meeting on a happier note, <sighs> but it is with great sadness that I must say that this will be my last video um, about the A4s. <laughs> I, because I really can't stand this anymore. Um, this article just kind of popped into my news feed for some reason from the Mary Sue. Uh, it's from August 30th, which is September 5th. And the reason that I'm going through this article, and I'm going to read you some comments off of a thread on the Place to Be Reviews Facebook page, which if you haven't liked yet, go over to Facebook, like the Place to Be Reviews. I promise you by the end of this weekend, I will have the group opened up. It's going to be a private group, and we're going to be monitoring heavily uh, who joins because there is a way to weed out the SJWs, and that is by having a strict uh, who joins your group policy when you have a private group, and uh, especially for a page like ours. So, not hiding anything, just we don't want stupid fucking SJW scum infiltrating our ranks and just causing nonsense and I mean I guess it'd be alright if a couple of them slipped through because God knows we all need a couple punching bags but um yeah so here's who we want to show up in the rumored Marvel A-Force lady movie A-Force A-Force lady movie all the ladies by Kate Gardner who is a feminist land whale speaking of feminist land whales uh my old fling Tessa Thompson Tessa you disgust me and you even worse Marvel is dropping a lot of information about their upcoming slate, and we can hardly keep up with all the official news. There's a lot of unconfirmed rumors swirling around, as well as theories for what other possible shows and movies could be about our top pick for a future film, an A-Force movie, which would be an all-female Avengers lineup led by Brie Larson's Cat Pan Mediocre. Ah, uh, yes, the queen of... The queen of pancake ass herself, Brie Larson. Her workout is so tough, Mr. Olympia couldn't do it. But my five foot tall, 120 pound female co-host burned through it like it was a fucking, a, a brisk uh, walk to the mailbox. Yeah, Brie, you're, you're, you go girl. Before we go any further, let's stress that this is very much a rumor and a wish. God, please don't let this come true. <laughs> Nothing against the women of the MCU. But that Endgame moment was forced and cringy, and it was beta testing for this shit right here. And for those of you who haven't watched me do an A-Force video or heard me talk about A-Force yet, I had to look it up as a comic book because I didn't even, I wasn't even aware of its existence. And it was like, yeah, the A-Force comic, A-Force was so cool. With all the women and girl power, it lasted 10 issues and got canceled. And before any of you say, oh, well, they, they cancel lines and reboot them all the time. They never rebooted it because it was garbage and nobody bought it. There. I'm done yelling now. We can put that to bed. So, uh, still many of the leading ladies of Marvel's universe have expressed a desire to team up in a team-up film. Karen Gillian said that Tessa Thompson and Larson pitched the idea to Kevin Feige. I think that was something that we were just talking about casually. Gillian said on Cheat Sheet. We'd all taken this big photo, like a Marvel class photo, and all the women got together afterward, and we were talking. We were like, wouldn't it be so nice if every day was like this, with no men? And we just all, we were just all around each other, and we were like, let's make it happen. Can you imagine if Robert Downey Jr., Chris Hemsworth, Chris Pratt, uh, Sebastian Stan, uh, Anthony Mackey, Don Cheadle, um, yeah, fuck Mark Ruffalo. He's got a vagina. Um, I don't know. Uh, Chadwick Boseman. You know, I don't want to forget Chadwick. Uh, they all got together. I would say Tom Holland, but he's a bitch. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I like Tom Holland. He just, he just, he's, he's, he's a little male feminist in training. You can tell his boy's going to grow up and be a cuck. Um, He's a little bitch made already. I'm sorry, dude. I love you as Spider Man, but you're fucking bitch made already, man. You fucking put on a dress, and I don't give a fuck what it was for. You looked a little too comfortable and did them goddamn dance moves a little too good, man. I'm just saying. Might be a little light in the loafer, son. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but own it. 
Uh, so don't, yeah. I mean, the fact that you had, we're all right with having Zendaya as a love interest in a movie speaks volumes about your character right there. Because that bitch nasty. All right. Sweet. Uh, let's see. So basically, if they made an A-Force movie, here's what it'd be. If you took nine, ten of these women, put them all together, they'd be cordial to each other for about five minutes. Then you would see smaller groups break off and start talking shit about each other, uh, their outfits. Yeah, it wouldn't work, man. They're way too fucking catty. Obviously, Cat Pan Mediocre would be featured heavily in an A-Force movie, but who else could join her? My top picks would be Valkyrie, Nebula, Shuri, Okoye, Wasp, and She-Hulk. She-Hulk, who will be introduced to the world in an upcoming Disney Plus show, will be the prologue to her appearing in future films is key to the A-Force in the comics. If she's being added to the MCU, that points to a possibility of an A-Force coming into reality. There's also speculation that Natalie Portman's return to the Thor world could indicate she's in for long-term superhero possibilities in the MCU. I think fucking Lady Lady Thor. It's the mighty Thor. No, bitch, you're Lady Thor. All right, you're fucking Lady Thor. You're not Thor. All right, you 105 pound joke. God damn. This, I got into an argument about She Hulk this year, Dad. You know, I, I want them to cast an actress that at least looks athletic because Jennifer Walters is green all the time and carries a certain level of muscle until she goes in. The, no, they need, to can, they need to cast just the beautiful woman and they can just see everything. Oh, you're telling me Mark Ruffalo is muscular? Mark Ruffalo before. Endgame was not Hulk all the damn time. He was not green all the time. Jennifer Walters is green all the time. Are these people that stupid? They can just CGI. She doesn't need to be muscular. All she needs to do is be stunning and brave. Oh, who the fuck you want to play She-Hulk? Uh, Alyssa Milano? So she can... Cry about it being like the life real. I hear her cry about life being like a Handmaid's Tale some more. Valkyrie is a must for any A Force. As the new king of Asgard, queen, and a fan favorite, that's debatable. She has to be featured. Besides, if Larson had pitched this to Feige with Thompson, it would be embarrassing if she didn't appear. Ugh. Valkyrie and Cat Pan Mediocre could team up with She Hulk. To form the team. And hopefully they wouldn't go through the same force drama that the male-dominated lineup went through in literally every team-up movie. Are the... Is it, Kate, is it Kate Gardner? Are you that stupid? I mean, you obviously aren't the brightest star in the sky if you're writing for the MarySue.com. I mean, that's akin to being the smartest kid in the retard class. But... You're hoping that the females don't go through the same... Force drama that the male die. Bitch, do you not have any female friends? I have females that are friends that complain to me because they don't like women because women are nothing but catty when you get them in big groups. You think that's you think this is going to, they're going to be immune to it just because they're superheroes? Come on, man. If, if if they do that, then you know what's going to happen. They're all going to be called Mary Sue's. They're all because they're just perfect, and all they do is just kick Nazi alt-right butt. That's all they do, because they're stunning and brave. What? You want to make an A-Force, A-Force movie make Donald Trump be the goddamn villain? And I don't even care if you voted for Donald Trump. I don't care. I don't want to talk about politics, but this is how stupid and ludicrous the entire idea is. Because these goddamn comic, the, the comic books, now they're, 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 they're um, the SJWs at Marvel are turning into the piss babies. Now, how you like that? Crying because, uh, what's that moron's name? Mark Wade couldn't use a Captain America essay to editorialize his own political views. And Ike Perlmutter, who I never, ever in a million years thought I would support, said, no, nah, I don't think so. We're going to try to make these comics a little more apolitical. And now people are up in arms because comics aren't apolitical. Comics are about punching Nazis and fighting the resist fighting Donald Trump. No, they're not, man. No, <laughs> he's only been president for three years. Motherfuckers need to shut up and just write comics and entertain people, because that's what you do. You, 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 we want you to entertain and make movies entertain us. I don't need to be preached to by a bunch of intersectional third wave feminist land whales or male 
fucking whatever you want. I, I don't need any of it. I don't. I don't want it. I'll keep my toxic masculinity intact. Thank you very much. In a deleted scene, T23, it was shared that there was going to be a scene in which a Koye and Valkyrie switched weapons and teamed up during the final battle. First off, it's embarrassing that that didn't make the final cut. Second of all, if that's not a tease for a Koye joining an all-female team up, I don't know what it could have been. A Koye is a beloved character. She's a total badass. If Shuri, another fan favorite, joins her, then that's even better. They were both undeserved by Infinity War and Endgame, so let them kick more ass. Both were undeserved by Infinity War and Endgame. Bitch, do you even do you even watch these movies? Like what what <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to to the comments on my video here, man. God damn. God damn. Oh, I can't even. I found another article on the Mary Sue that I'm going to do another video on. And it's more funny than anything else. Like these, I, you can't really take these articles seriously because these aren't journalists. These are, these are just feminists that smell like cat litter and live in small apartments. <laughs> And uh, post pictures on Instagram trying to look happy because they're fucking miserable. <laughs> because they're so bitter towards men for no reason most of the time. Because men are evil. We're all, it's all our fault. Except the ones that are just bootlicking male feminists. So, I don't know. Oh, here, here's another good one. Wasp, one of the founders of the original Avengers team in the comics, deserves her chance to shine as an Avenger after the films erased her role from the original lineup. Nebula, who's had a beautiful arc, also deserves to get a part of an all-female team where she continued to grow and grapple with her trauma from Thanos. All right, Nebula, I don't have a bad thing to say about Karen Gillian because she kicked ass in Endgame. Ah. Uh, she had 41 minutes of screen time. She had the most screen time out of any female character in Endgame and very well deserved. And Karen Gillian killed it. She was amazing. And I love the character of Nebula. I have no issue <clears throat> with seeing more Nebula, but I think she should be in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Because putting her in an environment with all the other women is probably going to seem a little bit forced and contrived, don't you think? Or is that just what you'd say if we were like, oh my god, we need an all-male Avengers team? No. No. Let's see. Uh, both of them would have... Excuse me. This article's putting me asleep. <laughs> both of them would have the snarkiest banter, and I'm here for a bunch of awesome ladies snarking and kicking ass together. Jesus, there's more. As for Kate Bishop as Hawkeye and Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel... Oh, fuck me. Both of whom will appear on Disney Plus shows? With a question mark? I hope they're getting their own Young Avengers movie sooner rather than later. Hopefully featuring America Chavez. America is also rumored to have a Disney Plus series, but that's all very much unconfirmed. Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. Why don't... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. One caveat here is that the introduction of so many f key female characters like Kamala Khan, Shield, okay, Kate Bishop comes solely through Disney+. Plus. Marvel is essentially making, keeping up with all the TV series a requisite to understand the future movie's trajectory. The synergy between streaming network and silver screen will be interesting to say the least. What do you think about an A-Force movie? And here, I love these uh, <laughs> strict comment policy, but forbids that it's not limited to personal insults towards anyone, hate speech, and trolling. Unless, let's see, uh, Kate, <laughs> and the bitch has her pronouns, says sorry a lot for someone who's not sorry about the amount of strongly held opinion she's raised on a steady diet of the West Wing and classic film. She is now a cosplayer who will fight you over your issues of inclusion in the media while writing a coffee shop AU fanfic for her favorite rare pair. Jesus Christ. Oh, let's see some of these comments. Captain Marvel, Valkyrie, Black Widow, Scarlet Witch, Watch, be given... Uh, fuck. Squirrel Girls in the Marvel Rising. I love Marvel Rising so much. Thank you for mentioning Marvel Rising. I watched one of those. It was fucking garbage. Oh, these are just... Uh... Yeah. These are just ridiculous. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I think this. If there, I I have no um, doubt that they're gonna try to do this movie and make this shit movie. Uh, let's read some comments real quick before this video gets too long here. Pop back over to my. Uh, Facebook group list here. All right, so this is on my A Force post, and uh, I'm not even going to read a name. I was going to read a name. Uh, one of the one of the commenters says, "Why do all these boys have their panties in a bunch? Because the MCU might focus on women heroes in the next major storyline. Get over it. If you're too sexist to look past gender, then don't watch. We don't need you bashing movies because you don't think women can be heroes too. The only thing I care about them still making good movies, and I'll continue to watch as long as they do. Um, yeah." That's such a fucking, like, cucked-out male feminist comment. It is. It truly is. It's fucking hilarious, dude. You're fucking funny. Uh, here's a response to that. Grow up, little boy. No one has a problem with women. We all love Delita and Wonder Woman. Absolutely correct. We hate the political propaganda. Yes, pay attention in all caps. People like you are the reason. People think less of us Democrats. And this is from a Democrat that just typed this. Ha, ha, ha. You got schooled by somebody who's probably on the same side of the aisle as you because he's not a cook. And here's a response. You don't need to make me look bad. You don't need me to make you look bad. You're doing fine on your own. Somebody calls him a cuck. And uh, somebody says right on, haters like him don't get it because he's just a cuck. Um, and while I can expand on that point and articulate it a little bit more and just say that... Uh, the initial comment that we're all a bunch of sexist is fucking ridiculous, man. Um, you give me a good story with a strong female lead who's well-developed as a character, well-written, I mean. Um, I'm not talking about physically. Mm. And I'm going to watch it, and I'm going to like it. I'll probably enjoy it if it's a good movie, and it's you know it makes sense, and there's continuity, and... You know, the story isn't just propped up on identity politics. Like, this is a woman. These guys are all bad. She's going to kick all their asses because she's a woman. Hear her roar. No. That's not how I make a good movie. You know, you need things like structure and characters and, uh, you know, a central theme. And, yeah. A beginning, middle, and end. Characters that make sense, that people care about. Not characters that are just like, this is a woman. She's a non-binary gender fluid transgender dolphin no it doesn't work like that with that being said i'm the temple queen i'm coming back later tonight with a trailer reaction to bad boys for life yes i uh, and for those of you who say i don't you know oh you do this bitch about things no man this movie looks great and uh I, i'm excited uh went to the theater to see the very first one didn't see the second one in the theater uh the first one came out as a sophomore in high school it was like 95 or 96 so yeah Got to get that done because the NFL season starts tonight. I know a lot of you don't like sports ball. Um, I'm a football fan, so I'll be uh, I'll be watching the Bears. We can see that the Bears tonight. So against uh, that team from across the lake in Wisconsin, but yeah, I'll be watching them. So yeah. Go over to Facebook. Give us a like on The Place to Be Reviews. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Email us, The Place to Be Reviews at mail.com. The world's best male. I am Etep Okui, and I am gone till later on. That long form Halloween review will be up by tomorrow afternoon. I have a few finishing touches to put on it tonight. That'll be up tomorrow. That'll be about a 30 to 40 minute video if you're interested in a long form breakdown of the Halloween 2018 movie. I'm Etep Okui, and be good. Be good to each other.